Hi, I'm Joost and today I'm looking at the Layrite original pomade versus the cement clay. So there are two major differences here between the Layrite pomade and the cement clay. Uh, the first one is the hold. So the cement clay is actually has a very strong hold. You can see that it's quite hard and you have to rub that across your hands to be able to apply it. And the pomade here is like more of a gooey and gel like structure. And that's also the second part where they differ a lot is in the wetness because the Leroy pomade will give your hair a very wet and slick look and the cement clay will give your hair a matte finish. The Leroy cement clay and it really does its name justice, cement. And they say here it holds like wax and washes out like gel. So that's pretty much it. It smells delicious. And you can also wash this out just with a little shampoo. But the hold is amazing. It says matte finish. It is a little bit more like a wet finish here and there than some of the other ones. Some are more matte and they are more like for a out of bed look or a really messy kind of hair. And this is like a little bit more like the slick look. As you can see, it's a little bit more slick here and there than some of the other ones. And the look is also incredible. It has this nice design with the woman sitting here in like a barbershop uh, setting. And the golden cap is amazing as well. So that's the first thing that attracted me to this. And of course the cement clay that's on here and the matte finish, which is what I'm testing right now. And some of the products with the best matte finishes. Now this one does have an incredible uh, look to it, but it's a bit, little bit more shiny than uh, some of the other matte finishes. So if you want a completely matte finish, then this product maybe isn't the right fit for you. As you can see, you have to put, scrape a little bit out and then mold that in your hands. Now what I do is I take a little out and then rub that all over my hands and then do my full hair. I like to wear it up, so I need to create some spikes here and there and then take a little bit extra and use that to do the sides and the back of my hair just a little bit extra so that stays in place all day. And the advantage of this clay here is that you can wash it out easily, but also that if your hair doesn't look the way you want it anymore during the day, you can just easily rub your hands through it and then mold it back into shape just a little bit more. And it also doesn't harden like with a gel. So this is like a wax but without the, the extreme stickiness of, of waxes. It also smells amazing. It's a little bit like a more Metro Man kind of smell, just like with the Uppercut brand, where there are also more rugged type of smells like the Brussel brand, for example. And I think this one is more like to the Metro Man kind of side. You can also wear this in your hair and then not using any cologne and still smell great all day. Now for my shorter hair, it can give me those nice spikes that I like. And for my son's hair, which is a little bit longer, I can easily mold this to one side and then make a few little adjustments to make sure every hair falls in the right place. So I really recommend this for anyone looking for a matte finish, but not really matte and not messy hair, but still a way to sculpt your hair exactly the way you want it. The Layrite Original Pomade and it keeps my hair in place quite well. It has a medium hold, as you can see it holds my hair up. And it's quite uh, wet, it's quite a wet look. So if that's what you're looking for, this is a great product. Now it smells a little bit more Metro Manny than the other Layrite product. It's a coconutty vanilla kind of smell. It is a great smell that will keep in your hair all day. So you don't even need to wear any cologne <laughs> when you're uh, using this. Now it's quite sticky. So the way I like to use this is to rub a little across my hands and then go through my hair, pushing that up because I like it up and spiky. And this will give you a nice wet look. Now this has a medium hold, so it's not the, the best for my spiky and my thin hair because it needs quite a bit to be able to stay up but it is great if I want to wear it just a little bit flatter and I think it's perfect for like my son's hair which is just a little bit longer and to push that all the way to the side or even do a slick back look if you want. So I just apply a little to his hair as well. And the advantage of a pomade like this is that you can go through your hair during the day and sculpt that back into place. It won't get crunchy like with the gel but it still has a medium hold. So I think this is perfect for those with a little longer hair to get like a wet look without it being crunchy. 